Hi my friends, Sam Via here. Today I want to show you a really nice, simple way to work with a figure eight curl. We're working with a Marcel iron and we're going to work with our Iron Shape 11, a thermal holding spray, heat protection, and it helps for the style to last. The idea is we're going to work with horizontal sections. Each section we take is determined by the amount of curl that you like. So if you want a small, if you want a small curl, take a small section. If you want a tight curl, take a tight, a small section. If you want a large curl, take a large section. If you want a large curl, tension, less tension. If you want a tighter curl, more tension. So let's talk about a figure eight. I'm going to work with a horizontal section. Our product of choice, once again, Redkin's Iron Shape 11. Always coming through, combing the product through. Now we're going to go to our figure eight. We're going to come in with our Marcel iron. We're going to work with the spoon or the blade on top. We're going to come through, now watch, as I wrap, I'm rolling the iron so as not to get any crease marks. It's a half roll. Once you're there, come through, take the section underneath, hand that to your index finger and your ring finger, as you can see I've done here. Once you have that, continue to roll, bring the section up and grab. And now, click your way out. As you click your out, way out, push the half curl to the edge of the barrel. Now simply continue to wrap, bringing the section underneath in front of the section and now continue to clip your way out. As you can see, when I click my way out, now that strand is in the center. That's why it's called a figure eight. So now there's a rhythm. One, two, three, four, pause. One, two, three, four, pause. One, two, three, four, pause. I'm counting one, two, three, four, pause to maintain heat. One, two, three, four, pause. Now I'm getting more heat. I have tension. One, two, three, four, pause. One, two, three, four, pause. By pausing, it allows your heat to work for you. One, two, three, four, pause. So now I count four to myself again to let the heat bake. And then one, two, three, four. Now I can release. The idea behind a figure eight curl is that you're getting an S pattern up into the top and you're getting a spiral wrap down below. That's the difference. So I'm not looking for an amount of volume, intense amount of volume up into the top area. Let's try it again. Now what's unique about doing it this way is the way that I'm controlling those excess ends, especially on that first half wrap. Once again, begin with the iron, the barrel on the bottom of the section, your blade or spoon on the top. Simply start to immediately wrap and roll your iron so as not to get a crease mark. Take the excess hair that you have at the end, bring that to your index finger and your middle finger. Now that, as you roll, that brings it to the top. Grab and now simply click your way out to the front edge of the iron. Notice I'm pulling the section that way. Now one, two, three, four. Count to four to allow the hair to bake in this area. Now wrap and roll. So now notice how I took the, the excess length. As I rolled, I brought it to the front of the section and now we click our way out. This is where you will see the figure eight. Look at the figure eight that I have. Now the section is in the center of the wrap. One, two, three, four, pause. Counting to four again while I pause. This will allow the heat to bake. One, two, three, four, pause. And I have tension. The more tension, the tighter the curl. The less tension, the looser the curl. One, two, three, four, pause. I'm counting to four silently. One, two, three, four, pause. And you could leave the ends straight if you want. Let's work the ends in. One, two, three, four, pause, and now release. What we get is once again with a figure eight, you get more of an S pattern to more of a spiral flat wrap. 
So it's more of a flat type of spiral from mid shaft to ends. Figure eight, I'm gonna to continue to work the entire head and you'll see the finished look. Working on my last curl now, and you can see, once again, working with a figure eight, look how this section is in the middle. One, two, three, four, pause. Now I'm gonna give it four seconds of heat in this position so that we get intense heat so it really sets the definition of the curl in. One, two, three, four, pause. Once again, tension is important. The more tension, the more spring you're gonna have. The softer the tension, the less spring you're gonna have. One, two, three, four, pause. And notice, in, when I used to work a figure eight, I'd always be re-wrapping and re-wrapping. In this particular case, where I'm trying to share with you, I'm not re-wrapping and re-wrapping, and now coming in and releasing, and once again, a nice, flat, spir spiral wrap, a flat spiral wrap. Not necessarily a twisted spiral wrap. And then you get a really kind of S pattern to start with. When we go through and work with this, we want to work primarily with our hands. Work with your hands to get that really kind of soft type of finish. So I'm just going to start to come through and just really just start to kind of place with my hands. I'm not going in and really being aggressive with my hands, but just coming through, allowing the curl to really take its character on. Notice how I come through and I just piece, carry, just piece it if you want with your fingers. Now, could you brush through it? Sure, you could brush through it, but when you brush through it aggressively, you're gonna to start to stretch it out even more. It becomes more of a wave pattern than anything. Okay, my last product of choice that I wanna work with to finish this is my spray. So I'm gonna come through and work with my Fashion Work 12. I'm gonna spray the tail comb. I'm just gonna come in right in the, at the ear with the tail comb. And I'm just gonna slide the tail comb in there, and now I'm just gonna to start to work the tail comb just back. I just want this to just sit back away from the ear, so you get this kind of fashion to that. Okay, once again, working with our Fashion Work 12, spray your comb, come through. Think about where you want this to just have a little bit of pop. I want that just to have a little bit of pop, that to sit. Remember, I'm working with some spray on the tail comb, which really helps me to set this in. Sometimes I'll work with a diffuser just to set that in with your blow dryer and your diffuser. And working with your hairspray on the tail comb. It gives it a nice little position, it sets it in. And now just coming back over the other, opposite side and once again just checking and making sure you're stepping back and looking at the big picture, the overall result in terms of what you have. So just real critical to work with. My last product of choice now is my hairspray. Sometimes some clients don't like hairspray. When they don't like hairspray, hairspray is important because it gives it a little bit of control. For here we're looking for soft control. Maybe she doesn't like it. Spray your hands. Now let your hands come in and work the spray in. This satisfies that client that says I don't like hairspray but now when they touch their hair it's going to have a control but they're not going to feel that touch of hairspray. When I do this I like to work with my Fashion Work 12. Fashion Work 12, very lightweight, and it gives me that result that I'm looking for. Figure eight, real simple to do, working with a Marcel iron. And remember, tension is critical. At the same time, allow heat to work with you. It's your best friend. Remember, when you are in control. Figure eight, try it, you'll love it.